What does $5 million and STD and Geico auto insurance all have in common? Well, they're the subject of today's video. A Missouri woman went to arbitration. She won $5 million for a very unique set of circumstances. Geico refused to pay that $5 million award, so she's now suing them in a Missouri court. The unidentified woman won in arbitration and she won quite big. She won $5.2 million. And the basis of that award is that she claimed that she had unprotected sex in a Geico insured vehicle and she contracted an STD. Geico's response is that this is a complete sham. They're actually countersuing the two people who had the unprotected sex and they're saying that there's some fraud involved and it was a completely bogus lawsuit. Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted that crazy damages like this are the reason why car insurance rates are so high. My name is Sina Resvanpour. I'm an attorney here in Santa Monica, California, and my specialties are personal injury and lemon law, but my other hobby is commenting on the latest news in the legal world, giving you information about legal loopholes that you need to know about, your constitutional rights, and much, much more. If that interests you, make sure to like and subscribe. So here's a little bit more background on what we would call the facts, what actually happened. There's this woman, she's chosen to stay anonymous, so she's going by the initials M.O., and she had unprotected sex with the guy with the initials MB. MB is driving a 2014 Hyundai Genesis. 2017, sounds like he's either dating or having some sort of uh, sexual relationship with MO, and the two decide to have sex somewhere in the Hyundai Genesis. They choose not to use protection, and MO, the woman, is claiming that at this time, she didn't know about the fact that MB had an STD, but she claims that MB did know that he had an STD. The two have sex and she contracts HPV. After the sexual encounter and finding out that she had HPV, the woman then decides to bring a claim with the man's auto insurance company. She eventually decides to take MB, the man that she had the sexual relationship with, to arbitration. The two agree that they're gonna stay out of court, but they're gonna settle their dispute in arbitration. The woman, M.O., she kicks ass in arbitration and the arbitrator, it's like a judge, awards her $5.2 million. This is based on things like medical expenses and her pain and suffering. The woman then expects Geico to pay the $5.2 million award. They're the auto insurance company. But Geico says not so fast. This has nothing to do with what auto insurance is meant to cover. The woman then takes Geico to court and sues them to enforce the arbitration award. Geico responds by saying that, again, this is a complete sham. This is some kind of conspiracy between the woman and the man to collect damages from Geico. And they actually countersue the two, saying that there's some fraud involved. This woman so far is actually going three and oh on her cases. She won once in arbitration. She won once at the lower level of state court in Missouri. The case was then appealed by Geico and she won again on appeal. And now the case is in federal court. Really what I wanna know from you is, do you think that her damages, that $5.2 million should be covered by Geico? In other words, should an auto insurance company be responsible for any sort of injury that happens within a vehicle that's insured by them? Or should the damages only be limited to cases where a person, for example, is hit by that car? I've been doing personal injury for a long time now. This type of case would fall within a personal injury uh, umbrella, but I can tell you that I've never seen anything like this. I would have never thought to actually go after the auto insurance company. I could probably tell you that I would never take this case myself, but somebody out there did and they are winning very big. If you have any other crazy legal theories, I wanna hear them in the comment section below. My name is Sina Resvanpour and remember, this is not legal advice. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl, you move it too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wonder they asking me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. Baby, don't try, just stop it. You should know that I got options. I be fly like I live in the cockpit. Mess around with the money, get drop kick. Only one in the city to pop quick. Never cared about being your top 10. Got a house in the hills, can you top this? I came from where them boys leave you top. Listen, get crazy around here in my section. All of my